Okay, right here is a 1981 Caterpillar 992C. The 992C was first introduced by Caterpillar in 1977 as a replacement for the older 992B. The new 992C was not only a much larger and heavier wheel loader than its predecessor, but also offered more power, higher breakout force, and faster cycle times. When the 992C was introduced, the standard bucket capacity was rated at 12 and a half cubic yards for this machine, which was a 25% increase in bucket capacity over the older 992B. However, in 1982, Caterpillar increased the standard bucket capacity up to 13 and a half cubic yards for the 992C. The 992C featured redesigned lift arms and incorporated new Z-bar linkage, which helped decrease bucket velocity near the end of its dump motion, thus resulting in reduced dump shock. A high lift configuration was also offered, allowing the 992C to load 120 to 150 ton off-road mining trucks. As an attempt to help reduce tire costs, Caterpillar offered the 992C with optional beadless tires, which consisted of steel shoes bolted directly to anchor plates, which were molded to a replaceable mounting belt wrapped around the oval air chamber to protect the tires from abrasive rock cuts. Located on the right-hand side of this loader sits the hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which holds 143 gallons of oil. And on the opposite side sits a 300-gallon diesel fuel tank. Here you can see where the two sections of the loader are pinned together. And this is where the articulated steering is. One cylinder on each side to turn the loader left or right. Now, let's go up on top of the 992C. Okay, inside of this first compartment, here you can see where the cap is located to fill the reservoir tank with hydraulic oil. And you can see the reservoir tank right down inside of there. Located directly behind the operator's cab are two big service compartments, which you can see right here. These two compartments provide access to the brake accumulator, brake panels, the two Caterpillar piston type hydraulic pumps, and the transmission. Let's take a look. Here you can get a good view of the components looking right down inside of here. On the left-hand side of this loader, 
Here you can see the cap to fill the diesel fuel tank with fuel. Okay, let's go inside and check out the operator's cab. From here you can get a good overview of the inside of the operator's cab on the 992C. Okay, directly out in front of the steering wheel you can see two control panels. The 992C has an electronic monitoring system. The left side control panel contains all the warning lights to alert the operator in case this loader should malfunction. The right side control panel contains all the gauges to monitor this loader when it's in operation. The 992C has a Caterpillar planetary type full power shift transmission installed in it. And this hand lever that you see right here, located directly below the steering wheel on the left hand side, is the gear shift for the transmission. This is how you control the loader's direction and also select the gear range. This is in the neutral position right here. Push forward to make the loader go forward and pull back to make the loader go in reverse. And by simply twisting this hand lever, the operator can select either first, second, or third gear for forward or reverse. These two hand levers you see over here on my right side control all the functions of the loader out in front. The left hand hand lever controls the loader bucket to curl it in or curl it out. The right hand hand lever controls the lift arms to raise or lower the bucket. And from here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a 992C. On the top deck of the engine house, you can see the two exhaust stacks, and directly ahead of them, the two air intakes. Later model 992Cs featured a redesigned exhaust system. I-92C is powered by a Caterpillar 3412 four-stroke turbocharged and after-cooled V12 diesel engine that produces 690 horsepower for this machine. Inside of this upper compartment, here you can see one of the air cleaners and the other is on the opposite side. And from here you can get a good view of the radiator and another view of the Caterpillar diesel engine. The overall operating weight of the 992C in standard form can range anywhere from 93 to 95 tons. With the beadless tires installed, the 992C weighs in between 98 
and 100 tons. By the time the 992C was replaced with the upgraded 992D in 1992, over 2,500 992Cs had been built and sold all around the world. Even today, the 992C still holds the record of being the best-selling large mining class wheel loader of all time.